This is Adam with Lizard Wraps. Um, I'm just going to show you guys real quick on how to get a really good color red. Um, we've gone through a couple different tutorials on the internet and um, we've tried them all and here with the MUTO with the value jet we never really got a good red so we just started experimenting with it and finally we nailed it down pretty good. Uh, there's a couple different tutorials out there that tell you to take this color, make a box, um, turn it into a bitmap export it, bring it back in, put it into the production manager, and then it'll give you a series of different types of squares that you can print out and pick the one that you like that's the best. Um, we've tried that a few times and uh, it just didn't work for us. It may work for you. There's other tutorials by other people and it may work good, but on the Muta, on the value jet here, we don't seem to have any success with it. So I'm going to show you how we did it. It uh, worked out pretty good. Uh, just draw a, you know, just draw a square, make it red like we did here. Uh, you can see the values of it. It's just 25500, just like anything else. So basically what we did here is you'll just take this and highlight it. Okay, and then what we're going to do is we're going to send it to the uh, rip and print. Okay, when you go to send it to the rip and print we're gonna instead of sending it uh, to the printer you're gonna put it in the hold list so just click hold into list and then send it okay and once you send it over to the production manager I'm gonna open up production manager here for you and we're gonna go through this pretty quickly uh, you can play the video again if you just need me to slow it down a little bit okay uh, pretty nice feature in flexi this is flexi 12 uh, what we're gonna do is we're going to go to the rip and print. Okay. Now, in the production manager here, I'm just going to show you it's holding in a file. Okay, it's holding right here. Okay. Uh, what you're going to do is you're going to double click on it, and it's going to bring this screen up. Okay. In this screen here, we're going to go up and we're going to click on the color management tool. Okay. Once you click into the color management tool, Hopefully it'll come up here in a second. Okay, you can see all of your defaults and everything. You can go into your advanced setting. If you want to change everything in here, sometimes by just changing right in here, the color, relative color metric, you can change this. That will sometimes change your reds, but what happens with that is it changes a lot of your other colors, which you don't want to do. So you'll go back up into here, and you'll go into color adjustment and this is what we like to do in here you can go ahead and hit the preview button and then you'll click down and you'll go into whichever color you want like here with magenta we'll do this one and then what we'll do is we'll boost the magenta a little bit and you can see on the screen you can actually see it getting darker uh, that works pretty good for us uh, we like to boost it um, you can boost it to whatever level you want. You could try like a different couple levels and um, go ahead and send the job. You just send a small square and see if you like that. Um, whichever one you do like, what you can do is you can go back and let's just say we sent this one here with these defaults. You'd go up here and you click save as. Okay. And then you go back in here, press OK. And then type in the name that you want to save it and then anytime you want to you're going to print something that you need to get a really good red uh, when you go to print it you can just pull this up very easy I'll show you how to do it we'll just call this good red okay okay that's one way to do it I'll go back and show you how to get that back uh, we're gonna go ahead and reset this tab there's another way to do it also um, we don't like to do it this way, but I'm going to show you. You see this little box right here, the variations. You can click on this variations box, and what that'll do is it pulls up this little nice little area over here. Um, we like to do a large adjustment because usually the reds are very dull. We like to brighten them up, and then here will be your current settings, which is here, and then your original image, and you can go ahead and boost the red. You just click on more red, and you can see the little thing going across the bottom, and now your red is actually changing. You can do it that way, and you can also go up here and click on brightness and contrast, which will bring this one up, and then you can just make it a little darker for yourself here. Uh, if it comes out to be a little too dark like this here, you can change the adjustment. First, go back to lighter. I'm sorry. That'll bring it back, and then bring your adjustment down a little bit. 
and then just click darker okay and that'll bring your darker that'll start to darken your red a little bit you can add a little bit more contrast or less contrast um, we fooled with this a few times and uh, we really got a good red out of it um, it was the first time we have a uh, 1624 Muto but we've used the uh, 1614 and the 1604 also uh, with flexi 12 and it really worked good for us um, like I said the best way that we get our reds is right here into this screen and we kinda just like I said we just boost boost it a little bit boost the magenta and then we'll go ahead and we save it like I said you save it here before okay so I'm gonna ahead and cancel that right move this out of the way and I'm gonna hit done so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab this red and I'm gonna go ahead and try to send it okay and I'm gonna go into the color management okay now I'm gonna go and what I'm going to do is go into the presets. Now, before, when I went ahead and saved the red I like, okay, what I'm going to do now is where you go into your presets, you'll click down and go where I put good red, and that's it. Now that preset is set, so you know you're going to get that good red out of there, okay? You just have to sometimes be careful with something like that. When you have that preset and that setting, you got to make sure that your output profile and your media and your print mode and everything are the same and make sure you don't change anything over there because that will change everything on your reds okay um, I appreciate it if you guys subscribe to my channel I'm gonna have a lot more videos coming out uh, I do some beta testing for flexi uh, I have a lot of knowledge about flexi so if you guys have any questions or anything that you want me to put a video for uh, just let me know and I'll put it up for you okay thanks a lot